Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a custom table in custom module. And also we are going to update a custom uh, table with your from your custom form data. Okay, so first already I created a module which contains custom form and also it has permissions. So now I am going to create a new file called custom form dot install file. So where we are going to mention our uh, schema open. So create to create a custom table, you have to use a function called hook schema. So I'm going to implement it. Implement hook schema and then function custom underscore form underscore schema. So schema function will not have any argument. So just need to enter it. After that, you have to mention an argument called schema. And then here you have to mention a table name. So user details, the table name is. And then you have to mention an array. Inside that array, you have to mention all the data about the table okay first is description so description will be about this particular table it contains user details and then next is fields so fields is id first it's a unique and primary key you have to mention any description. Description is uh, holds the ID. And then you have to mention this is serial type. Serial. And then it is not empty. Not null. True and then unsigned true. True. Okay. And then next we have a username. So that is name column. So in the name column, you have to give description for the name column. Description. user name and then type it is a varchar and what is the length of the varchar so length 50 and then it, this is also not null true okay so this field is already mandatory in our uh, form so this is not null here and then next mail i'm going to give a description user email id and then type this is also the type of varchar and then length And this is 50. And then uh, not null true. And then last field is gender. So gender type. So we are going to use the same. So just copy paste it. Here, user gender. Okay. And then here you have to mention which one is primary key. Primary key is ID. 
and then you have to return the dollar schema. Now we saved it. Uh, next, go uninstall the module and reinstall it so that the table will be created. So the module is custom. Custom. Oh. So this is the table. Uninstall it. Let it uninstall. Open PHP my admin in one side. PHP my admin. Confirm. Login. Again, reinstall it now. Custom form. Click and install. And here the table is triple ten. So now the table is listed. Let the module install fully. Now the module is installed successfully. Now just refresh here. So the table name is uh, user details. So the table is created here with the empty data. ID, name, mail, gender. So all the columns are created. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this form and I'm going to save all this form's data into this custom table, okay? So this is the form which we created. Let's go to your module. Custom user. At the bottom, we are going to do that. Here, we are going to get the uh, value. So first, uh, we have to get all the value in a values. So let's create a value variable equal to dollar form states tends to get values open close. So values will contain all the value. And then I am going to initialize the database service. Stands to insert. We are going to insert it. So the table name is user details. Copy and paste it there. After that, you have to mention all the fields. So fields of array. In that array, I am going to mention the name, mail, and gender. Okay. First one is name. And next one is mail. And next one is gender. Okay. So we are going to pass value for all these fields. All those field values are available in the values. gender and then username username okay so username username comma 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 and then here you have to execute it execute and then save. Okay, now we uh, created a fun created a line to insert the DB. Now go to your form and submit value for this um, username and mail ID and then gender and submit it. Now the form is submitted successfully. Now go and refresh here. 
so you can see one entry made we so you can see we made an entry so whatever details you give here all those are inserted here okay so this is how you how to create a custom table and you how to insert data in a db okay and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye